Hey everybody. We are looking at my 20 gallon angelfish tank, but we're looking in from the end rather than the front. And that is because as I was walking past, I noticed my whiptail catfish is not hanging on the glass, nor is it hanging on my filter intake where it usually is. It's actually out on the Java fern. We can see it for a moment. Now, it's not a terribly active catfish, so this probably isn't going to be a really exciting video. But the fact that it's not just hanging on the glass or hanging on the filter intake is exciting in its own right. This is a really, really inactive catfish. But they're really cool. Um, I've got a soft spot for catfish in general. But the whiptails, I think, are just really interesting ones. And this was simply sold as a whiptail catfish. I have no idea what actual species it is. Uh, there's a lot of them that are very similar. I used to have one that was a knob-nosed whiptail. And that did have the very long nose like this. But it had also a very clear knob on the end of it. And that is not the same species as what we've got here. So I was actually just talking to a friend of mine the other day about this fish. And it's a really odd, awkward swimmer. You'd think as sleek and slender as it is, you'd think it would sort of whip through the water like a snake or an eel or something, and it would be really graceful or fast or something, but it's not. It's really sort of awkward and clumsy when it swims. I have seen it sort of walk around on the bottom using its uh, pectoral fins, and I would imagine in a situation where it was frightened, it would probably be able to dash off very quickly. I'm sure it can make a mad panicked dash and move very quickly through the water, but that's not the same as being a good and graceful swimmer. My uh, striped Raphael catfish, on the other hand, looks like a tadpole, but is actually a very graceful swimmer. Looks more like a shark when it swims uh, than a cat. This one, you can see how it sort of just kind of flails around to move. It's sort of a weird looking way of getting around in the tank. And I don't think we're going to be able to see it from wherever it went from this angle. And it doesn't look like I can see it from looking down on the top either. So there you go everybody, just a quick look at my whiptail catfish while it was out. As I always say, I always try to get anything interesting on video whenever I see it happening. I grab my camera and get it. So make sure you subscribe, that way you won't miss anything I've got coming up on this tank or any of my other ones. I have plenty. And don't forget, of course, this one is my 20-gallon angelfish tank. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.